back to the channel in this video we will look into how we can set up a web swing server on uh, oracle cloud vm okay so what's web swing web swing let us run java application on the browser using purely html5 okay and as you can see, I've already logged in into my Cloud VM. And before I started this recording this video, I've already uploaded my files onto the server. Uh, what is the web swing files that we need to set up the web swing server? And then the directory consisting my uh, Java application, Java file. So before we start, uh, on configuring the web swing server, I'll uh, let you uh, see the application with me. It's a simple application uh, that doesn't utilize any database. It's just interfaces. And this search bar is functioning, uh, we can search by keyword or author or category. So let's say I want to search something related to weather, and then it will show us the results. Or maybe I want to search for an uh, article based on author. Okay, so all this as an author name Leon in it. Okay, oh, my category industry. Okay. Great. Okay, so that's our application that we only uh, on the uh, hosting at the web swing server. Okay, so let's determine. Okay. So to start all, we can first unzip the web swing file. Okay, this should take a while. Okay, this done. Okay, so there's the order. So change the activity. Yes. So, uh, in the beginning, we need to configure the configuration file for the web swing server. Okay, so, I remember we have already got a video. Yeah, yeah, we have. Okay, so, uh, uh, when we download the source file, of the web swing server. Uh, there will be default credential in the configuration file. This is a uh, since this is a demonstration, uh, I will just leave it as it is. But if you want to use it in production, uh, you better change the credentials. So admin pwd. Okay, so the first thing that we need to change is the admin console URL to our Oracle or Cloud VM public address. So if I'm not mistaken, it's it's this yeah. Okay, then after the admin console, okay. yeah, 
We just need to change that for the moment. And we also need to change some configuration in the admin configuration file. So, name admin, admin. Let's go and reject this. Oh, it's a man. Okay. So in here, we also need to change the IP address to our VM's public address. Okay, so. So I'm not sure if this well, website URL needs to be changed, but I just change it just in case. Okay, save that. Okay, uh, before we can start up the Swing server, we need to install Java in our cloud server. So if we run Java, we can see that we don't have any uh, Java GTK or GIE installed in our server. So to, do, if you, to, to install Java in our cloud server, we can use sudo apt install default. Okay. Okay, so in here we can see that it will install one of the JTK that we'll be using, which is open JTK in the one. Because uh, WebSwing uh, at the moment only support Java uh, in the one. So we need to uh, have that Java version on our cloud server. Uh, it requires 800 megabytes. And all of this seems to be okay. Okay, so press enter. So this will take quite a bit to finish. I will continue after the installation is finished. Okay, so now the Java has been installed into our, uh, our Oracle web server, not web server, uh, VM server. Okay, so now we can go into. Oh, can we? So after we have installed the uh, Java uh, in our uh, Oracle Cloud VM, we also need to install some additional uh, package in Linux. So install this package uh, into the Oracle VM. I will uh, put this comment in the description of the video. Okay, so yes. Okay, so now it's uh, installed onto the Oracle Cloud VM. We can now continue to uh, start up our uh, web swing server. If nothing gone wrong with the setup just now, you can just use the okay, where's the form? Yeah, this one. So before that, let's sort of change the mission for the so uh, for the file. Okay, so below. 
and then start. Okay, so if uh, nothing is wrong with the cell just now, we can use a browser along with the public address of this uh, Oracle VM. And then the port uh, 8080, uh, we can access the WebSwain uh, login page. So let's get to it. So, so regarding the issues just now, it's actually because I didn't configure the IP tables as well as the ingress rule in the Oracle Virtual Cloud Networks. So in the Virtual Cloud Networks of the Oracle Cloud Platform, we need to add the ingress rule for port 8080. So set, up, set it up so it's like this. And then for the IP tables, uh, we can insert a new uh, uh, rules in the IP tables into the input chains to accept a uh, connection from port 8080. Not from uh, that their destination is to the port 8080. Okay, so once uh, those two uh, rules are set, we can then see that our uh, web swing login page is now loaded onto the page. Okay, so as you uh, saw just now that the credentials are FA and PWD and okay, sign in. Then they managed to log in into the dashboard for uh, regular users. Regular users can only like uh, visit this page, but with an admin account, you can manage uh, the applications that's hosted on the WebSync server. Okay, so uh, let it not for okay. So to add our application into the web swing, uh, also you can just click this create new button, then give it a name. Okay, then give it some time and click it. And then in this uh, section, we need to uh, set the home folder for the application. So, This is the directory for the application. So copy that, paste it here. And uh, we don't have to press the apply first. In the home directory, uh, change it into this as well. Working directory uh, as, as well. We change both of them into the same as what we for the web home folder. Okay, so after that, I'll click apply. Then, create the class path. Star, but yeah. To uh, add the class path uh, so that every Java file can be visible. 
Okay, so after that, uh, we need to specify the main class for our application. So in my case, uh, my application's main class is called core.main. And that's pretty much all the configuration that we need to change. Okay, so click apply. Then create a neighbor. So give me some time to boot up. Okay, so it's running. So click it. And now we can use uh, any user that has been uh, set in the configuration file just now. Uh, there's three users just now. One is the admin. And the second one is for the normal use account. So we will use that. So because we have already uh, logged in as admin, we can straight up uh, see how uh, visit the uh, application without logging in. So this one is. Okay, so as you can see, we can use the application as normal. Okay, so everything seems to be working except for the size. Oh, never mind. Okay, so I uh, hope you guys now understand how we can uh, set up web swing server onto a Oracle Cloud VM and accessing it using a browser through the VM's public IP address. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Thank you very much for watching my video and see you in my future videos. Thank you.